terms of tax evasion, I think you mentioned this. Um, it's mostly the Internal Revenue Department would be interested in collecting the taxation and not not to act as a as a body that penalizes. But uh, tax evasion, though it is not discussed too clearly in in our country, tax evasion is a big problem in multiple other countries that have uh, one would say far developed sort of financial systems. Uh, in relevance to that, do you believe that we have we have some form of stringent procedure to deal with that, to deal with specifically things like tax evasion? What sort of court proceedings would you see there? Does the uh, Attorney General's Department get involved at one point, or how, how does that work? Yeah, so actually tax evasion in Sri Lanka is quite uh, simple and straightforward. Namely, you're not disclosing your income. Right. Right. Whereas tax evasion in most developed countries is that you have set up a complex system or structures whereby actually you are evading the payment of tax. Yeah. So through offshore structures and all that. So I think fundamentally what tax evasion is in a developed country is different from what tax evasion is in on the ground here. Yeah. Here it's simple, straightforward. You're not disclosing your income. You are either not a taxpayer in terms of the Indian Revenue Department records right. or else large parts of the income are not being uh, so, declared. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking this question now, uh, I, I, we also want like the entire environment in our country to be conducive to a business and all of that, but uh, don't you think things like that could also happen in Sri Lanka, within our country, as in if there are safe havens created to the money you make, if the money doesn't come in, uh, are those elements that the Inland Revenue Act or preceding acts within the future should really look at? Uh, because now with foreign earnings, I think purely the, the principle is justified. Foreign earnings is something that we need to really like look into. But is there a income there that can be taxed, that can be moved into the coffers of the state that we are not looking into? Yes, so I think the, there are two aspects of it. One is, is foreign earnings. Now currently because foreign earnings are exempt from tax, yeah. Really, it doesn't give rise to many complex structures being set up yeah. in order to evade the payment of tax. Actually, if a complex structure is set up, it is only for the purpose of foreign exchange, yeah. for the purpose of not bringing back the money, but not necessarily for tax. But if, for example, foreign, foreign currency earnings are going to be taxed at some stage, exports yeah. and even service income, then in such a case, I think the revenue needs to be up to it to be able to identify these sort of uh, uh, anti-evasion or anti-avoidance measures or vitalities which are being adopted by taxpayers in order to evade the payment of tax. But currently as it stands, it's mainly local revenue which is actually the subject matter of evasion by and large because foreign currency is exempt.